Welcome to another episode of We Review Everything. I'm your host, Sid. Today, we're going to take another look at a certain type of review that's been going around. We're going to take care of a chop challenge. That's right, four random items purchased, and we're going to make one meal out of it. Pepperoni rolls. We have. Oop, oop, this way. Mini pepperoni rolls. That's a good start. Those are awesome as a snick snack and a munchable and very easy to microwave and or heat up. So, that's a fun. Boneless pork loins. And the pork in. Boneless pork chops. Oh, I love you. These things are awesome. Boneless pork chops. These are like the best because you don't have to deal with bone and they're very easy and very quick to cook. Night whipped cream. Oh, you? No, I won't cuss. I just saw that one that's going to be a challenge. Okay. Cool whip light no less. You couldn't get the full cream stuff. I got to use the light if I got it. Well, you know what though? I melt that and mix this in. I hope you want a sweet roll because they're going to want to be in a sweet roll. Mozzarella sticks. What else goes better with the tiny mini pepperoni rolls but mozzarella cheese sticks? You can probably melt those over top or in them. Uh, I've been cooking since I was about day high, so maybe since I was like seven, eight years old, just going and bugging my mom in the kitchen and seeing what she was doing. Because, in her famous last words, um, no kid of mine is going to live eating at McDonald's. This is a white onion. Just remove the outer skin. comes from northern Italy uh, originally one of the oldest vegetables in the world because it tastes so good this is extra virgin olive oil comes from an olive that's that little green round thing that you put in martini glasses but when I'm cooking Italian I like olive oil it adds a whole lot of mm, flavor and fragrance so on the stove I go for medium heat a couple smidges of olive oil You know, salt spray as it heats up. Okay. I generally coat the bottom of the pan. You don't need a whole lot. Make sure it's on medium heat. I love Italian food, yes. My Italian grandma got me started making spaghetti and all kinds of stuff. Just a rough chop on the onion. Just help it break down. It'll cook faster. It releases some of the juices and the fragrance into the pan itself. So you just give it a rough chop like this. You just give it a little rough shaping. Get that in there and simmer in. Wow, I come back to this pork. You got a nice boneless pork. Normally that'd be if it's a chop there'd be a bone along this edge here, but that's already been removed. So that's gonna make it cook faster and easier. Still not sure what I'm gonna do with that cool whip. We'll get to it though. Alright, like with any meat, things don't taste good plenty. So again, some onion powder. A little bit of Italian seasoning, which is basically just a mixture of basil and basil, oregano, parsley, things like that. And I'm going to just cut the pork starts to brown up. I'll probably maybe add some chives or this is green onions or some parsley. We'll see. I still have debating what to do with that cool whip. The purpose behind it actually is to release all those oils because it's inside the skin in the shell right now. And when you smack it, 
It's just like an apple. It's now cored and it's all juicy and exposed. There you go. Thank you. Onion is a basic aromat what's called an aromatic. It brings out the flavor and acts as the flavor in anything you put it to. The garlic will make it taste very better, like a better word, Italian. Come back here, you. I don't know. There are chefs out there that are formally trained that are going to be like crying like, that's not right. I don't care. I'm just disgusted. <laughs> we are just having fun. Some in it. Okay, a little more Italian seasoning. A smidge more olive oil because it's not coming quite temperature. Beef. People like their beef to be medium rare to medium depending on how well done you like it. Pork and chicken are two of the meats that have to be well done. Absolutely positively have to be. Because pork is a, well, comes from a pig. Pigs aren't very clean or neat animals, as everybody knows. They do carry parasites even though they're processed and slaughtered. So you have to make sure that anything you make with pork and chicken is very well done. Covering a lot of the vegetables and the meat steam, but the steam turns to water and it settles back down, so it's going to tenderize everything. It's going to make everything contain its own juices and simmer up. I have just had a change of plan of what I'm going to do. Okay, this is called an oven. Now that I've sliced that open, I'm going to bake. Bake. 350. I'm going to lay these all out on a spreadsheet on a flat baking pan. Once my meat's everything done, cover them over, slice the mozzarella on top. The Cool Whip, I'm going to wait until last. Mix spices, probably oregano, basil, thyme, a couple of other Italian things, onions, and put that as a topping and almost make them like mini cakes. Now, I like these. They're kind of nice. They have the pepperoni in the middle, a little, a little good base to build on. You ever had pepperoni rolls before? Well, since I'm new to West Virginia, no. <laughs> <laughs> Why put the lid on? See how the lid has all the moisture on it? I have the pork and the onions and everything cooking after their own juices. Right now it's escaping a steam. I'm just giving it a stir. Get everything cooking evenly. Put the lid back on. Never, Behold. ever, ever trust a skinny cook. Because that means they don't taste their own cooking. Now you see how it's starting to brown up and the onions are starting to, that's called caramelize, so they're turning brown and getting clear. Mm. The only thing I won't chip on anymore is things like this, like the olive oil, because that's the main source of your flavor. So I won't chip on something like that, but as far as spices and seasoning, no, and uh, salt and pepper is always to taste. Depends on the individual, how salty or pepper you like it. This is one of my favorites. It's called Old Bay, and that is the name brand. That's for seafood, things like that. But it's a lot of uh, red pepper, paprika. It brings a lot of flavor to the party without being too hot. So you just give everything a light sprinkle, because you can always add more, but you can never take it away. Depending on the house you live in, there's really for cooking only two different ones, either electric or gas in America. Overseas, you can get if you if you're lucky enough to be rich enough, you can get what's called convection, which only heats the pan. But your stove, every stove is different. Like this is an older one. You have your normal dials, one up till high, which is full blast. When you're looking at something that says heated on high, obviously the high. When you're cooking, once it warms up, it's usually about medium, halfway on the dial. I think it's like one to ten. And then when it says like simmer for a while, like you want a lower heat, turn it down to almost two or one, just enough to keep it warm. Um, Electric has a little bit more direct heat. If I had a choice, I'd rather cook on gas because I like the open flame. But that's just a personal preference. Just want to look over here. Yes, 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 we did. We want parsley. That's for later. I need my cilantro. There it is. And again, because I don't want super spicy, we have some jalapenos, we have some habaneros, we have all kinds of stuff in there, but I don't want to make it over spicy. This is cilantro. It's a green leafy, uh, Spanish, very good in Spanish type cooking, and has a wonderful earthy aroma to it. Mm. 
So if I'm just going to tear some leaves off and just sprinkle them in, because they will reduce down and add even more flavor. Now, see how it's got to pick up a nice brown to it? That's what you're looking for, that nice golden brown. Any food meat will turn color, but that's showing you a medium well on the fork, which is what you need. And take a piece out, any random piece. Come here, Euro. Come here. See, it's got all the You cut it in half and see that it's done in the middle. So you don't have any pink on there at all, which is what you need for pork. Plop. You keep the second tip. Don't throw these away. Put them in the sink, wash them off of there because they make incredible storage devices. Like that sauce you asked me about what I was going to do with, probably wind up in there. Okay, we reduce that down. That's really going to be very sweet. So when you have something sweet that you don't want to be sweet, you find some heat. Chili powder. Well, I'm Nikita. As I said, everybody keeps saying or knack for short because that's short for knack, but also I have a knack for doing a lot of different things. Uh, I originally grew up in Pennsylvania out there in Pennsylvania Dutch country with all the horse and buggies cooking with a lot of different sausages and veggies and things like that been cooking since I was yay high to the stove um, again moved here to really I've been cooking my whole life moved here going to be attending culinary school Carver Technical starting next week and it's going to need some more heat. Two-year program. There we go. When I graduate, I'll have the culinary associate's degree as a sous chef. And certificates for everything from sanitation to management. All of which will hopefully one day help me with, if you asked me about my dream earlier, I really would like to open my own restaurant. Or be what's called a personal chef where somebody who has a big house or whatever and it doesn't want to do their own cooking hires you on onion ground sage that's it and you prepare their meals just for them and let's take a little stir here it's coming to a nice simmer and the pork is actually taking on the red color that's ready mm, that's good Forget the pizza idea, that's good. <laughs> now what I'm going to do, bring these over here on the light. Take a mass spoon. I'm going to portion out a little over every bun. I know it's not exact rocket science, they're going to go everywhere. Some will have a little more, some will have a little less, but that's okay. That's why I was asking you if I could go into my cupboard because now with the sauce, that's going to add a nice character, I think. It won't dry out when the cheese melts. Well, what's the overall taste you're planning on going for by the end of the tasting? An Italian pork with an Italian pizza because of the cheese and the pepperoni and the sauce. You have kids, don't you? You better be making them some pizza or they'd be kicking your butt. <laughs> okay, uh, here they are. Okay, word of caution, 350. That means that the inside of the oven is 350 degrees. I'm not saying anybody's stupid out there, but some people just are. So, mitts. On the pan. How long is this gonna take to cook? I'm gonna say about 30 minutes. So we're never making on chopped. <laughs> so we'll see you with the Magical TV in about 30 yes. minutes. Again, 350 degrees, mitts. <laughs> you'll make that mistake once, you'll never do it again. Oh, look at this. All right. Ooh, smell good too. So why why would you cook the meat first and then put it in the oven? Because like I said before, pork has to be well done. If it's half raw, we will get very sick. Putting it in the oven was to melt the cheese and crisp up the buns, which has happened, amazingly enough. Good, good, good. So we've got a nice 
See, it's like a pizza cheese. That's mozzarella. Like, that's exactly what we want. Okay, time for some plating and some topping. Let's go. Here we go. Going around the table to see who we are. Of course, that is Sin. Everybody knows him. This is his show, but I'm going to steal it. Or I'm going to film it off my own show if this works out well. We're bless blessing? Mm -hmm. That's blessing. Put your hand down. <laughs> That's blessing. I'm Nikita. This is Calvin. The cat's over there. That's Socks. He's running around. This is our first attempt at a meal here. This is not alcoholic, so don't worry about it. But we're all over 21 anyway. Awesome ever. Cheers. It's IBC. Salute. So when yeah. I started cutting him up and started him simmering, then I looked at the Cool Whip and the cheese. I'm thinking, hmm, that's not going to work well because something needs to be baked. And then it came to me, almost like a mini pizza. Mm -hmm. It turned out really good. I really, really like the whipped topping that you did. I, I'm very pleased and very surprised because that Cool Whip was really sweet. You made it kind of savory. Well, I tapered it down. Like I said, whenever you have something sweet, here's Nikita's next tip of the day. Bing! <laughs> we have something that's super sweet, add heat to it, and they are savory, and they'll counteract each other. The um, the cream actually, because the pepperoni is actually very, very spicy, it actually helps to um, tone it down. Cool it. Tone it down, yeah. Mm -hmm. The yeah. answer's not spicy. The habaneros we bought here, those are spicy. Mm -hmm. That is really good. So mm -hmm. you've done an excellent job. Ta -da. I, but next time, I'm not going to go easy on you. Your challenge has been accepted. <laughs> <laughs> If not, we're going to call for pizza.